and happy to have you along with us, Nick. Very excited. Um, so over in the deck, we'll do a quick run through of it, and then uh, we'll uh, jump into the league. And we've got uh, three leagues of uh, queued up tonight. You know what? I realized just now I might not have uploaded the videos from last week, so I think we might have five <laughs> videos coming out um, in the deck here. We've got a dried arbor, two breeding pools, two forests, a canopy. People have been playing the water logged, um, which I think might be a better call here. Um, over the Horizon Canopy, but we'll see. Four Ink Moth, three Misties, two Pendle Havens, a Temple, three Windswept, and two Wooded. Deck does not need much mana to start going. Okay, once you have like two mana, you pretty much just that. That's it. You're happy with life. Um, as long as one of them is not Ink Moth. If you have an Ink Moth, then you've got a little bit more mana investment to go. Um, we've got two Distortion Strikes, which allows us to get our creatures unblockable and then give a plus and rebounds back. Um, we've got a Spell Pierce. Um, We've got four Mutagenics. We've got three Blossoming. Um, the creatures are the Glistener Elf. And then we have the Blighted Agent and the Nobles. Groundswell to give another pump effect. The Might for the plus four plus four. Noble Scale Up is the main reason people have been going crazy over this deck. Um, this enables a potential turn two kill. And then Vines. We've got the Blighted and the Tefres. Tefres is also a new addition because uh, it's been... You know, protects your spells. It's pretty sweet. Uh, in the sideboard here, we've got two Ravenous, two Rejections, a Dispel, two more Pierces, two Ravenous Traps. That might need to be four, but uh, we'll see. Um, Dissenter's Deliverance. And then we've got two Nissas, uh, two Force of Vigor, and a Spell Sky. So let's jump into this league. Let's slide that over. Yeah, I like not having to play Dismember and being able to play Path. Alrighty, we've got no creatures, so let's go ahead and mulligan this away. We've got one creature, but it's the wrong one. But I, I think we'll keep this one. Put Misty to the bottom. I really just want to hit a creature. <laughs> Big monkey, yeah. We will get Tron. Don't don't you worry. I uh, don't have much school this week, so I might be able to jam another league tomorrow, actually. And I can jam uh, some Tron tomorrow um, after work, so we can make that happen. Because uh, my classes don't start up, I think, until later this week, and I have some time off with 4th of July and whatnot, and tomorrow looks pretty open. The state of Tron right now, Mono Green Tron, I think it's in a pretty bad spot. Um, so, like, I don't know. So, I've been playing it a bunch, right? I've been playing it a bunch. Uh, I keep trying to see if, how good it is. It's still fine, right? Like, it's still a fine deck, but... The, I think my biggest problem with it right now is the matchups that I used to just like, oh man, I'm going to stomp, I just don't stomp anymore. And then, uh, yeah, that's like my biggest issue with it right now. Um, we don't have anything, so we're going to pass it over. E-Tron, I think if you want to play a Tron-style deck, is where you want to be right now. It's been doing much better than Tron. It attacks a different way, has multiple threats, still does the Karn plan well with a Great Creator. Um, so I, I think if you do want to play Tron, you probably should be playing E-Tron just for the time being. 
If you're meta, what do you think they ban in modern? Uh, what do I think they ban in modern? Uh, I've actually been talking about this quite a bit uh, with my friends. We got into a huge discussion about it um, with my team, Team Swish, right? Um, yesterday, because uh, we've been talking about what is the proper ban, right? Like, do they ban Hoge, which I think is a bad call, just because that's the name of the deck. I, I do not think that's the correct ban here. Uh, they could ban Altar of Dementia if they're trying to look at the Hoge deck being too strong. Um... They could ban uh, Bridge. I think that's the correct ban, but I'm not 100% on that. Um, the other ban that people are talking about a lot right now is just banning um, Faithless Looting. Because all the graveyard decks are only really powered up heavily because of Faithless Looting. So it might be the best plan just to ban that and then see where the meta falls after they lose their best uh, draw and discard spell. So the more I think about it, the more I'm on the bandwagon of that. However, I do still... I, I don't like Bridge because I think the Hogek deck, or the Hog, or the Hogvine deck, rather, I think that deck's in a fine position without Bridge. It still can go another route. When am I switching to a TFT? Uh, that's the new format for uh, League, right? I don't think it kills the decks. I'm not really sure. Um, the only ban that I'm like... I, I do want them to ban something based off how, what we've seen. Um, from what we've seen, I, I think they have to do something to help neuter the graveyard decks. And I have not played that format, but I would be very interested in trying it out. Uh, in, uh, I mean, that new... That new thing with uh, uh, League of Legends. So, I, I mean, I just reinstalled League, funnily enough. Um, Reese was just telling me about it. He was super geeked about it. So I'm like, okay, I'll check this out. Yeah, you know, realistically, it's Verdict, right? Like, Verdict, like, hashtag ban Verdict. That's the way to go. For anyone that's not aware of it, that is a running joke on our team right now. So that is not a serious statement. I don't think it kills the next though, I'll be honest. I, th I think it's fine. Alright, if we can get if we get to come back to our turn, we get to kill them. So if it doesn't, then we die. Fair point. Shouldn't be available. And uh, that's a fatal push. So uh, we're dead. Good times, good times. Yeah, you know, you just gotta get rid of all the interactions between all the different colors. There's no, there's just no need for it. All right, so we definitely want to bring in. We don't need anything for the graveyard necessarily. We do want to hit their the. Their removal spells. So I think the spell skites, the pierces, and the dispels are going to be huge here.
I think we can trim the mutagenics. And a distortion strike. Uh, let's, let's see. If anyone uh, actually is more versed with it. Mm -mm. All right, it looks like our war spells are actually vines and blossoming, so let's take these and actually put that back in. And let's take out the vines. So they are considered the worst ones. You want the Nissa as well? We can do that. We can bring in the Nissas and then bring these in, and then we'll take out the uh, blossoming defense and I think one mutagenic. I think I'd be happy with that. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a, a, some kind of banning um, on the next banning cycle. At the same time, though, I wouldn't be surprised if they decided to not do a banning. Hmm, this might be greedy. We've got one spell, no real protection, but um, let's be greedy. That's what we're here for, right? We hit a land, we can get a turn two kill. Nope. <laughs> Top five decks post ban? It depends on what they ban. So I, I mean, it'd be hard for me to say that without knowing. Um, I guess you could say um, like, if you w like to play big mana decks, are you saying, like, you like to play Tron, E-Tron, Scape Chef? Because I think the best option right now for the, those kind of style decks is E-Tron. This is so getting countered. And thanks everybody for joining. I much much appreciate it. I uh, just got back from Denver, and I'm getting to play some Magic again. I'll be able to play a good amount this week, so I'm gonna try to do some random streams as much as I can. Um, so you, if you guys see a notification that I'm gonna go online, do not be worried about that. That's just me playing because uh, I have the time to play as much as possible. Thank you for the subscription, Phoenix Crest. Much appreciated. Third month. Oh, you subscribe for three months, not, th not your third month. Alright, we can go get a Dryad Arbor, which is what we might have to do here. Devoted Devastation seems sweet. I have yet to actually play that myself, so I can't speak from experience. But every time I've seen that deck played, it makes me really want to try it out. For six, bring him to seven. Oh. Yeah, I've been. Uh, I'm seeing that Urza Grixis deck go up and up in uh, play. It's pretty sweet. I want to. I'm happy we're trying it out tonight to see what we can do with it. Well, that's not good. It's a land, solid, solid.
and we're dead. All right, all right, no big deal. I feel like they just have so much removal interaction there. That's a rough little uh, pile. Yeah, if they were to do a looting ban, I think a lot of those decks um, would stop getting played for a little bit until people figure out what to do with the build on them. Oh, this hand's uh, not bad. We're a little light on pump spells, but definitely can make it work. Hmm, we're going to get some mill, eh? Yeah, Mardu Death Shadow is uh, a sweet little value deck. Okay. Can't kill him this turn. If we run out, Noble, swing for two. Wouldn't be great. Next turn, we'd really like to swing with Blighted Agent. So playing out Blighted Agent might be the best call. Because if we do the scale up pump here, they can just chump block, and then we don't get any of that in. Yeah, let's do that. So we're just gonna play the land here. Swing, see what they do. They're gonna block, of course. That's fine. And then we're gonna run out our Belated Agent. And then we'll pass it over. Hmm, that's a bummer. We lost quite a bit there. We can noble start pushing through so they lose their creatures. Plus side, they're not doing a ton. But neither are we. <laughs> we can grab another breeding pool here. Start picking those guys off. Let's bounce their J spec to their hand, draw a card. Weird combination Gorio's deck. What? Oh, Sharub. They're, they were milling themselves. Oh my gosh, I did not realize that. I was not paying attention. I just assumed they were milling us because they're Hedron Crabs. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> what?
Oh yeah. Now we can't even pump our glistener off because of the, hmm. right? Yeah. Okay. Well, with that being the case, I guess we're just gonna run this out, and uh... We can swing, but then we have to pump if we want it to do anything. I guess we can do it, see what it will do. I don't really want to throw a pump spell in front of that. Next turn we can start doing to the Blighted or our in Glistener because they'll probably use the Jace pump on the Blighted. We've got to protect our bro. Funnily enough, because they're sequencing, they couldn't uh, hit this with it. Alt's at nine. Esper. I guess it gets access to all like the best like hate spells, right? Yeah, while doing some crazy interactions. Is there anything that's like are they just doing some like awesome value stuff or is there anything else? Cause I'm not seeing any like I win stuff going on. Yep. They're attacking us. I think we're just going to take the hit. It feels like there is a combo win, right? Like there should be a combo win in here for them. If we can get a scale up, I think we just win. Okay, I'd like to get a pump spell. And we can't get one, so what do we do here? Swing with this, can't. Swing here, it gets blocked. Okay. Well, I think we're gonna swing with both, see what they do for the blocks. Kill that off. I don't think this pump's worth it. We're gonna go down to three. We've got a chop block this turn. Oof, that's rough. They hit our glisteners? Yeah. All right, if they mine it, they're gonna use it. Yeah, that's fine. Um, if we get a good pump spell, we still just win the game.
will die on their turn. Come on, pop spell! Give it to me, baby! Yeah. Vines kick that, yeah. Reasonable magic. Okay, so we want the ravenous traps. We want the dispels, the pierces as well. I think we should bring in the um, the paths here. Don't think we need the other stuff. Spell scat might be relevant too, but we might be overboarding at that point. We could trim these and these. Might be taking out a bit too much, but try that. Anything else you guys want to see brought in or think we should be bringing in or not bringing in or anything like that before I click submit here? It's pretty serious stuff. Once we hit that submit, we're locked in. Alright, I'm not seeing anything. I'm going to move on. I'm going to try to get through all three decks tonight with three leagues, so I want to keep things moving. Mm -mm -mm. Alright. See if we can do a turn two kill. So unfortunate. If you guys know anyone else that can follow me, we're sitting at 99 right now, folks. 99. We could hit a cool hundo. Be in the triple digits. We just don't get anything cool. I'm going to go fetch up the Dryad Arbor. We're going to pump it and block. Get our scale up back. the Jace more than the Lily. I 
Seems like the ravenous trap here is not great. They're just not putting enough in the graveyard because they know about it. another pump spell I think we just kill him right we've got nine damage in hand right now that's interesting we'll see if they block can pump and kill the Jace, I guess. Not in a good spot. We die uh, by next turn, and I'm not sure there's a way for us to get back into it. It definitely doesn't feel like we have a way back into this. I don't think there's anything we can really draw to stay in this game. could chump block, but we're getting drained. I think we're good to move on to the next game at this point. We've just been drained so much of so many resources. And <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I might take out the Ravenous, actually. I don't think it did as much as what we wanted it to. Um, and let's put the Blossoming back in. Two threats, multiple pump, let's do it. Wait, no. I didn't play my land. That was bad. We got there. <laughs> in fact, stupid. <laughs> uh, they had one interaction. Good thing that wasn't enough. We would have fought too through another piece of interaction too. That's really stupid. Hmm. 
Mm. Looks like uh, I forgot to call it out. Uh, I am Sayer. We uh, did get a, another follow. Um, yeah, I'll take this. Oh, and we were talking about it the last time I streamed, but uh, the reason I haven't seen any money yet is because I don't actually get paid out until it accrues up to $100 um, in total amount. Once I have that, then they decide they'll pay me out. Looks like we're going against some infect action. Distortion strike should be pretty sweet here. Let's go get ourselves a breeding pool. And let's run out this blighted agent. They want to infect us, we want to infect them, it's a whole thing. Okay, we've got one of them already. Scale up makes a six, seven, eight. So it's not lethal. But we're dead. Oh wait, no, we scale this one up, we're gonna distortion strike this one, and that's it. Reasonable magic, folks. Reasonable magic. <laughs> All right. All right. That's great. <laughs> uh... So those are all options. Mm-mm. Let's see what we want to take out here. Um, yeah, I guess we can just take out the vines. And two, one blossoming and one mutagenic. And bring in all these. I was thinking about whether or not we wanted to bring in the pierces, but I don't think they're good enough. And I don't really want to bring in the paths. The time travelers, I think, is still relevant because we can get up, make them not have the best time with their interaction spells, and we can bounce like their steel overseer or their um, ravagers. So, mm -mm -mm. we don't have a turn to kill, but we can present a decent clock good scale up so we'll go breeding pool glistener into a blighted agent that makes our life difficult Good thing scale up doesn't care about that. We're not gonna scale up this turn though. I wanna use it on the blighting blighted agent.
think we've got a fast enough clock to where we don't care. Why do you think we were better at getting it on the um, the elf rather than the spell skype? Force them to block is what you're thinking, and then that way we still get one effect in the spell skites off the table. Because we could just uh, double pump right now. I mean, we can still do that. We have another scale up, and we have two more pump spells in hand. Oh, they have another one. I guess we were just better off holding the scale up, right? Winning the game. That was a bit greedy. Probably, it might have cost us the game as well. so we can block hit him with one infect here get him to seven I can't see us winning here unfortunately Oh wait, now this is a creature we control. Okay. So we can get there, we just have to survive one more turn. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. Let's see what they got. Another cranial.
sure. If he swings, we lose with everything that is. If he doesn't swing with everything, we win. If I held that other scale up, he'd have another uh, spell sky, but we would have killed him. So it was a error. Could have got that. That was sloppy playing on my part. So, what do you guys think about uh, how the opens and uh, big events went this week? It seems solid. We can do with another pump spell, but. Hey, man, Rox, thanks for stopping on by, man. Much appreciated. Yeah, there was a lot of Phoenix and a lot of Hogak. I think someone told me there was 62% of uh, the day two, the open, was uh, using a Faith of Saluting style deck, which is absolutely nuts. That was rude of them. Oh, they're in the block. This is so good. I'm going to just get rid of this right now. Nice. I actually need one of those uh, oofs. So if you want to get rid of it, I'm your man.
don't see us dying here. So as long as nothing crazy happens, we should be able to kill them on our turn. If we can get one pump spell, we're going to crack that canopy, see if we can find one. How are you liking the Modern Horizons draft, Greg, George? I'm going to try to um, cube it, I think. So I'm going to cube that and cube the mono blue cube so we get two additional ones. And uh, I've been holding off because I didn't want another Modern, uh, modern Masters issue. They can't instant speed equip. No, they can't. Because if they activate this, it taps it. So we should be okay there. Let's go to blocks here. Yeah, we can replicate the snow land in the ba uh, basic. That's not an issue. Um. Other than that, I mean, I don't see any issues, so. Oh, we, we animated the... The second one. On pump spell. Woo. Now we're playing magic. Now we're playing magic. Sounds good enough, man. If you're still, if both of you guys are still enjoying it, it's good enough for me. Let's get that cube going. I guess I gotta find someone uh, to print it off because everybody seems to be freaking out about it. They don't hide hollow away our related agent if it is not the end of the world, but we'd like to have it. Esper deck plays vile, folks. Is this is Esper Spirits. Black, white, Eldrazi, splashing blue. Ooh, is this a different version of humans? Oh, 
let's run this out and run out our blighted agent. Pass it over and see what we can get going. We took off our vines, but we still have mites and distortion strike. A little vials, whatever. Might, might, seems real greedy to do this. We should be holding up Pierce, but if we went might, might, distortion strike, and they don't have uh, anything, we could just kill them. <laughs> We just do might and distortion strike and next turn go for the kill. That seems much more reasonable. Yeah. Yeah, they were dead, but the problem was that we um, we were opening ourselves up to any piece of removal, and they would stop us because we didn't have the ability to hold. Uh, we only had um, one green, and then either blue green or blue green. So we would have had to tap completely out and expose ourselves to any removal spell. I didn't feel like that was worth it. Might have been wrong, obviously. Oh, gotcha. Nope, you're definitely right. It was might, might, and then exalt. Yep, you're you are correct. We should have done that line. So is this just like blue esper like I don't even know. Thank you. 
Okay. Let's see if I have anything. See, Nick, I'm terrible at counting to ten. I'm only good at counting to seven. Apparently, they're not counting to anything. <laughs> Alright, so, seems like they got some interesting cards. I think we want to actually bring Path here. Um, I'm not opposed to bringing in the the force like one maybe a 104 force here they're a light on mana i don't know if they're actually interacting with us though maybe we we bring in too much uh the pierces don't seem bad they're gonna be bringing in some stuff for interaction i'm sure so maybe we are bringing these six take out the vines and then one mutagenic and one blossoming You think Tefri's bad here? Mm, I don't think... Can we keep a hand with no infectors? I don't think we can, right? Keep that. Um, I don't need Tefri with this hand, I don't think. I think we just want to uh, possibly get another creature. Jeffrey did feel sweet, by the way, in that uh, other deck with uh, Vanifar. I really like that interaction, just being able to get value out of it, protect your stuff. It just seemed great all around. Just getting beat up. There's an ink moth.
Did you get it? Mm. Did we get the pass on the push? No, we got there. We got there. Oh boy. Oh boy, this deck's doing work. Three and one. Let's see why Noah likes this deck. This pile. So someone just did a metagame breakdown for GP Dallas, and there was a 16, I mean 18.6 percent of the uh, was Hogak, and then was 7.3 percent for Phoenix and humans. Um, actually, looks like we can get the image right here on the stream. So yeah, that's uh. Pretty good percentage was Hogak, then Humans, Phoenix, then we had Mono Red Prowess, then Burn and Tron met the Tide, and then everything else was less than the five or so percent, so. Um, multiple Blighted Agents. This is not a fast hand, but it could get there. It might be correct here just to mulligan this away, but. Okay, they only had one dredger and they didn't hit another one, so that's good for us. Um, we can go get a forest here. Five, six, seven. It's probably the best decision here for us to just we run out another blighted agent, swing in. I mean, do a pump and swing in.
don't see a cathartic in the graveyard, which is really good for us. I mean, I can, I mean, I can flag, but they just hit it. So they probably just bin all the cards they don't want in their hand with can flag, wipe out both of our creatures. Oh, they're kind of flashback looting. Wow, okay. They're going to have a massive board here. If we get one more pump spell, we win the game. Interesting line our opponent took. Yeah, it's really weird they didn't just decide to, like, they weren't under that, like, they didn't have to be under that much pressure or anything, so there was just no need for the line they took, so. At least I don't think so. Um, Tefs seem bad here. We're bringing the Ravenous Traps. Um, I think that's it. Maybe we want to bring in the Pierces as well. Take out two binds. Mm -mm. Yeah, I think that's it. So this is our last match with... Uh, in fact, we'll swap over to uh, Green Black Loam. Got a trap, got a threat, got a clock. It's everything we want. They're down to four cards. They have no lands. Must be a busted hand that they kept. Or I guess the best that you got with four, right? Like Okay. I can bring in Spellskate if we go to another game. E for one. Okay, I can't do anything about that. Let's bring out the blighted agent. We'll pass it over. Dark blast does seem bad for us. Like, we can counter it with Pendlehaven, technically, but... I don't think they have any way to stop this. That's it, folks. We got there. Yeah, yeah, look at all that. 
Money, money. All right, that's going to be it for the Infect deck. I'm going to go ahead and end the stream. Not the stream, sorry, end the recording.